Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Marife Garcia and family, Maxima Carbonco, Ronald Tayao and Jeng Mariano Tayao and family, Ricardo Lino and family. For the birthday thanksgiving of Christian Mar Timothy Vargas, Aina Trisha Correas, Reverend Father Paul Velasco, Dilan Angelo Garcia, Prospera Borbon, Eler Vitu, Angelina Baby Ibarra, Summer Luna, Amara Viel Garcia. For the special intentions of Joseph and Marilyn Zapanta and family, Mr. and Mrs. Jerick Miranda and family, Lourdes Tolentino and family, Phil and Janet Castro and family. For the complete healing of Grace Manabat and family, Randy Moraleja, Arturo Elenita and Emmanuel Vitu, Teresita de Jesus Danting, Ernesto Gudoy Silva, and all our sick relatives and friends. For the eternal repose of the souls of Wilfredo Jojo Ocampo, Paul Christian Dunca, Pedro Mendoza Jr., Sami Carion, Jaime Manese, Angelito Mendoza, Antonio Ponyo, Maria Teresa Morales, Jay Sapanta, Raimundo Adoni Paras, Romeo Garcia, Adoracion Lerit, Victorio Babadilla, Natividad Fernando, Priscilla Soriano, Frederick Reyes, Pedrito and Richie Batak, Noemi Ocampo, Tom Torres, Gloria Rivera, Maria Lena Coloma Estrella, Lucia Pasion, Uring Ponyo, Mario Tolentino, Ricardo Ramos Cruz, Remedios Lino, Rita Febes Ramos Cervantes, Kits Lapid, Lourdes, Patricia Lenon, Janet Tayao, Lita Ponyo, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning po, Amo. Happy Mother's Day po. This uh, Mass is celebrated for you, dear mothers, for our mothers. We offer these uh, intentions for them. Also for our parish here at the Holy Cross Parish, uh, second Sunday of May, we celebrate our fiesta. We have our humble way of uh, creatively sharing the fiesta, delivery of food to our communities, our humble way of uh, bringing the joy of our Thanksgiving in spite of our limited uh, 
uh, ways and being in quarantine and lockdown, nothing will stop us sharing and uh, safely sharing the grace of the Lord and thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, prepare ourselves to celebrate a meaningful Mass, and for the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. I invite you to remember your petition, your prayer for this Mass and our intentions for those who ask for our prayers. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those who are pleased to take and make new in this holy baptism may under your protection bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The liturgy of the word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom whom we shall appoint to this task whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word the proposal was acceptable to the whole community so they chose stephen a man filled with faith and the holy spirit also philip prochorus nicanor Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our response be, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the dense string lyre, chant his praises. Upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, 
a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. together please i am the way the truth and the life says the lord no one comes to the father except through me The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would have I told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again to take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, that we may be en- that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for a long time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father dwells in me, and doing His works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in is, me, in, is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me, will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this because I am going to the Father. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Mother's Day po. And happy fiesta po sa ating parokya dito sa Holy Cross. And uh, supposedly, we had an anticipated Mass last night, or yesterday evening, around 6 o'clock. Kaya lang po, nagkaroon ng brownout under uh, NGCP. Uh, dumating na po yung ilaw, almost 8 o'clock na. So, we have to let go of the schedule because our youth leaders and our youth volunteers must go home before 8 o'clock kasi po meron kaming curfew dito sa parokya namin. And medyo umuulan pa po. So, the intentions last night were also forwarded for our prayers and intentions this morning. Panganay po ako at uh, nung wala pa yung mga kapatid ko, ako pa lang, nagsisimba po kami. I still remember very distinctly, kahit na malit pa lang po ako, pag nagsisimba kami, ang tatay ko nagsiserve sa simbahan, kaming dalawa ng nanay ko sa regular churchgoers. At of course, being a young boy, I do not know the way to the church. Basta inaakay lang ako ng nanay ko, no? nung medyo naglalakad na ako, no? uh, kasama niya ako naglalakad, natatarihan na ako po kapampangan. And uh, then, there's no problem. Basta nakahawa ko ang nanay ko, I'm holding on to my mother, sometimes sa kanyang skirt, basta nakawak lang ako sa nanay ko, hindi ako mawawala. And that's how we have been going to church every Sunday. Of course, pag Sunday, maraming tao, wala pang la- lockdown noon, <laughs> maraming maraming tao, nung nagsisimba po kami, ako ay uh, small boy, around three years old. And uh, one incident, I would not forget, nung palabas kami sa simbahan, of course, hindi ko naman po alam yung pauwi sa amin. I have no idea. Though walking distance lang yung bahay namin sa simbahan, pero at that young age, talagang hindi ko alam paano pauwi. Kaya nakakarating lang ako sa simbahan at nakaka ako because I'm holding on to my mother. And then, nung pauwi na kami, of course, sa simbahan, maraming tao. Na-entertain ako sa mga nagtitinda ng lobo. Mayroon pang nagtitinda ng laruan sa may harapan ng simbahan, sa may patio. Basta alam ko, nakahawa ko sa nanay ko. And then, uh, while holding on to my mother, paningon-lingon po ako, mula-mulala, lawe-lawe, <laughs> tanga And then, to my, to my surprise, no, I was so terrified. Nung tumingin ako, yung inahawakan ko, hindi man yung nanay ko. Hindi ko kilala. Umiyak po ako, syempre. I felt lost and I don't know how to go home. Talagang, I have no idea. Hindi ko po kilala yung taong inawakan ko yung kamay. Siguro, sa sayang boy, inawakan, inawakan ko kami, binigay na ba ng kamay niya? And then, I was only pacified and I all, it stopped crying only when I realized hindi naman pala ko iniwan ng nanay ko. Siyempre, yung nanay, no? <laughs> Kahit na humawak ka sa ibang nanay, yung nanay ko, siyempre, hindi naman alam na may anak siya. She followed me. Pe- pebre na ako mo po. <laughs> and then, when I look back, my mother was smiling behind. I was relieved when I, my mother was just behind me as I wandered and walked, going to another way. I realized that is what Jesus is telling us. We will not get lost. We will know the way if we only hold on to Him. Home is not an address. Home is not a place, a geographical location na pwede mong tignan sa Google Map o kaya sa ways, no? and it will lead you to heaven or to the place where Jesus is. Like my sense of home is not the directions that I know physically, but as long as I'm holding, to my, holding on to my mom, saktong-saktong Mother's Day pa naman, hindi ka mawawala. That relationship with our God is the same way of understanding our gospel today. Kaya nga po, Malinaw, malinaw kaninang binabasa ko. Where I am going, you will know the way. Sabi po, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will go back again and take you to myself. Hindi naman yung sinasabi, I will take you to that place only, but to myself. For where I am, so where you should also be. Kung saan ako, doon din tayo. Para bang ang, ang tanong ni Thomas, 
kamukha ng tanong ng practical na tao, Lord, show us the way. But the way that Thomas is thinking is an address, is a physical place, is a destination. Hindi po itong sinasabi ni Jesus. Because for Jesus, when you are with me, that is already heaven. Pagkasama mong Diyos, kahit nandito ka palang sa lupa, parang nasa langit ka na. Pag ang Diyos ay kasama natin sa bahay natin, it is already heaven for us. Home is not an address. Home is where we find safety, where we experience peace and we have love. I am at home with you. Home is that relationship with our loved ones. Kahit simple lang ang lugar, kahit di ba gandang bahay, basta nagmamahalan po tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng grasya ng ating, ang ating pagiging to be, to, to be at home. Minsan po, meron akong nakitang uh, poster, actually iniwan sa akin ng pare, from a priest who used the room that uh, I used when I was a young priest sa social action. I think kay Father uh, Fer David po yun. Iniwan niya yung poster na yun sa akin, parang yung pinamana niya. At gustong gusto ko naman. Yung poster po, nakalagay, pusa, cut, natutulog. Kaya lang, yung natutulog na pusa, yung parang nakasabit lang, nakakita na po kayo ng pusang natutulog, yung cut nap na tinatawag. Kung misa natutulog yung pusa, very uncomfortable. Kung misa, nasa chinelas, mga chinelas. Kung misa, nakasabit siyang ganyan, natutulog. Ang sarap-sarap ng tulog ng pusa, no? <laughs> misa, nasa ilalim ng lamesa. Misa, nakasabit lang siya, natutulog. Tapos nakalagay dun sa poster, yung pusang natutulog na parang very uncomfortable. Pero sarap-sarap ng tulog, nakasabit lang. Sabi niya, for a heart at peace, every place is a home. Ang pusong may kapayapaan, kahit saan siya magpunta, nakakakita siya ng tahanan. Kahit na malaking-malaking bahay niyo, kahit na malaking-malaking yung mansion, mansion ninyo, kahit may building kayo parang bahay, kanya-kanyang kwarto, kanya-kanyang, kanya-kanyang malaking kwarto, if there is no peace, there is no love, there is no there's no sense of relationship that makes you feel safe and comfortable, I think we cannot call that home. Where Jesus is inviting us, where I am, there you should also be. Do not think of a place, but think of a relationship with the Lord. As long as I am with you, I am at home. Sabi nga po nitong writer and inspiration uh, speaker, si Leo Buscabul, ano, uh, Buscagia, living, loving, and learning. Ang tawag po, siya po yung original na Mr. Love, no? from an American writer. Sabi niya, worrying does not take away that, again, again, worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles, but it takes away today's peace. Pag ikaw parating mag-iisip na mong problema, problemadong problemado, when you worry or so much, hindi naman nababawasan yung troubles ng darating. Ang may nawawala, ang kapayapaan na ngayon. You miss living today at the moment. Hindi ko alam kung nakwento ko na po itong kaklasiko. Minsan, kaibigan ko, nagkaroon po siya ng diabetes. Kaya lang, mga 38 years old pa lang yata kami noon. Ito pong kaibigan ko, active sa parokya. Kung di ko po, hindi ko nagkakamali, Paris, ah, hindi, Paris, Pastoral Council President, PPC President, ng maraming Paris priest. Ha? At uh, magaling po siya. Masipag, nagsisimba, hindi lang isang misa, sa nagsisimba sa Sunday, and tuloy-tuloy sa mga meeting. At sinasama niyo yung anak niyang lalaki, no? A small boy. So kasama niya yung nagsisimba, kasama niyang nagdarasal, kasama niyang nagsiserve sa simbahan. Yan, nakikita ng bata yan. Nung 38 na po kami, itong kaibigan ko, na-diagnose po ng diabetes. Diabetic siya. Ninervyos siya. So, nag-diet, binibilang niya yung sugar, binibilang niya yung calories, 
binibilang niya yata yung kanin. <laughs> Tapos, nag-change ng uh, lifestyle, which is very good. Kaya lang po, the worrying took so much of his good health na hindi na siya kumakain up to the point parang nangayayat siya, bumaba ka sugar niya, pero nakompromise ang kanyang health. No? Sa kanyang takot, talagang hindi na siya kumakain. Natatakot siya, baka tumas siya sugar. Up to the point na hospital siya sa Manila. No? Na, na-confine po siya sa Manila. Sa nervyos pa naman pa na, sinulatan kami, nag-text siya sa amin, nagpapaalam na. Sabi niya, eh, yung paborin din nga na ako na eh. <laughs> Take good care of my children nung mawala na ako. <laughs> 38 years old, ha? And then, alam niyo po kung sino ang nagkaroon ng nakatulong sa kanya para na- makalabas po siya hospital. Alam niyo po sino yung nakatulong sa kanya para makatayo siya ulit, lumaban. At malagpasan niya yung takot niya sa kanyang sakit. Hindi man po yung doktor. Hindi man yung magandang hospital sa Maynila. Hindi man po yung magandang gamot yung anak niyang sinasama sa simbahan. Nagtanong lang daw yung bata, innocently, ah, innocent, <laughs> innocent yung anak niya. Nagtanong lang, nakikita niya yung tatay niya, takot na takot, putlang putla, <laughs> nervous na nervous sa sakit niya, at naging hindi lang po illness, naging disease. No? Sabi na nga kanyang anak sa tatay niya, tang, kapampangan po, tang, ot ika kapangadi mo, pero katakot mo ne. <laughs> Dad, you are so prayerful. But why are you so afraid? Parang sa bata, hindi niya naintindihan kung ikaw magdarasal, ikaw nagsisimba, pero puno ka ng takot. Parang it does not go. Sa logic ng batang simple, pag nagsisimba ka, nagdarasal ka, may pananampalataya ka, it should be the point that you will be able to overcome your fear because fear and faith does not go together. Why let your hearts be troubled? You believe in God. Believe also in me. That is the introduction of the gospel. Be at home with me. Pag natatakot ka, you are not at home. When you are filled with fear, you are not at home. Alam nyo, nung narinig ng kaklasiko itong tanong ng anak niya, pa, tang, o tika ka pa nga di mo, katakot mo. Alam nyo sinabi ng kaklase namin? Nabigla ako sa sinabi ng anak ko, napa- may palukluko kayong kasi, walang feel na feel ng masakit yan eh. Napaupo ako, sabi niya, sa, at napatayo ako. Tara, mulita na, mulita na. <laughs> nagpa, ano, nagpa, he decided to, to fight it out, to stand, not to be a warrior, but a warrior, sabi nga nung homily ko nung Friday, that you should fight with, your, with, with our faith with our hope, with the strength of our result. And this is our, our invitation. Si St. Therese of Avila, sabi niya po minsan na uh, I was going to visit uh, the Carmelite Chapel. Saktong-sakto, 500 years siya, tanong yung uh, congregation and celebration. Meron silang poster na basa ko from St. Therese of Avila. Sabi niya, Therese, when you pray, do not think so much, but when you pray, may your prayer lead you to love much, to love more. Sana, pag nagdarasal ka, hindi yung nagdarasal ka, tapos mag-iisip ka ng mag-iisip. Sana, pag nagdarasal ka, magmamahal ka, at lalo kang magmamahal. Ang tunay na pagmamahal, hindi nagdadala ng takot, hindi nagdadala ng insecurity, but it brings joy of love and fullness of life. Tandaan niyo po, there is no fullness in life when we have fear. There is no fullness in life if we do not have a sense of home. Maybe our homes, our families are not that perfect. And yet, if there is forgiveness in the grace of our Lord, there is acceptance and the joy of encouraging each other to go beyond our limitations and acceptance in our own imperfections at home and our pagkakapatid, then indeed, we have that sense of heaven in our midst. Gusto ko lang pong magtapos dun sa karanasan ko kung nung minsan nag-bless po ako ng bahay. Kaya lang napakalaki ng bahay, uh, Marco. Yung bahay, ano? Bahay ng isang accomplished architect. Yung architect, matanda na siya. Yung mga anak niya, tapos na ng college. Tapos, 
Siguro dahil tapos ng college yung mga anak niya, contractor siya, gumawa siya ng sariling bahay niya. Siyempre po, pag nagpagawa ng bahay yung architect, it should show what he can do, di ba? Hindi ka namang pwedeng architect ka, tapos yung bahay mo hindi maganda. So, ang ganda-ganda po ng bahay. Di lang maganda, malaki pa. Nung binles ko po, siguro, ganyang oras, mga 11 o'clock before lunch. Sunday before lunch, tapos yung mga so, mama ko. So, mga binles ko po, no? mayroon siyang magandang, mayroon po siyang magandang uh, parang uh, pagdating mo sa bahay, mayroon siyang parang uh, yung uh, reception room, uh, receiving room, tapos mayroon siyang main sala, tapos yung sa sala, mayroon pa siyang yung master's bedroom, nasa may uh, nasa ano yung pag pagtumanda na daw sila doon sa sa kwarto sa first floor binless ko rin tapos mayroon silang uh, magandang dining hall room na uh, dining hall ang uh, haba ng lamesa binless ko tapos mayroon silang kitchen napaganda ng kitchen modern tapos mayroon silang dirty kitchen huh? dirty kitchen tapos mayroon pa silang dirtier kitchen huh? <laughs> tapos mayroon silang dirtiest kitchen <laughs> tapos mayroon pang quarters yung mga kasambahay no yung kasamba yung quarters nila pwede na yung quarter pwede na ako doon no tapos lumabas kami sa sa garden meron silang swimming pool ha? swimming pool ha? hindi hindi swimming pool na maliit malaki swimming pool pwedeng pang outing yung parokya tapos po second floor meron silang uh, master's bedroom another one tapos yung kwarto ng mga bata tapos meron silang uh, music room meron silang study room <sighs> meron silang parang another sala sa second floor parang family room <sighs> Tapos mayroon pang attic. Yung attic, yung parang sa, sa third floor, pwede kang mag-sumba uh, doon. Ang laki-laki yung hall. Pwede tayong mag-meeting, pwede kang mag-misa. <sighs> Pagkatapos ko mong binles, nakatatlong holy water po ako. Sabi ko sa mata ng architect, <sighs> Architect, <sighs> you have a very beautiful house. No? I, I affirm him. And then the old architect with all his wisdom, kamukha po ninyo, nagsisimba every Sunday. Kamukha po ninyo nagsiserve sa simbahan nitong arkitekto. Nag-smile lang po siya. And I would not forget his wisdom. Sabi po sa akin ng arkitekto, Father, it only takes money to build the house. It takes a lifetime to build the home. Father, pera-pera lang kung gusto mong magpagawa ng magandang bahay. Pero yung pagpapalaki at pagpapalago, pagpapatibay ng ating pamilya, it takes a lifetime. It's never too late to continue to build your family, to strengthen it, and to deepen its foundations. This is where our invitation to all of us. May we find home in one another. May we be at home with you, O Lord, and invite you to be with us. Our homemakers, our mothers, this homely, this mass is all your for, also for you. Kayo po na nagiging tanglaw ang aming ang, ang grasya na manggrasya ang ating pamilya because of our loving mothers too. May this Mass be offered to you and to our homes. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all rise. Together. We will use the Nicene Creed. We will pray, I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered around the risen Christ, our way to the Father, we feel fully confident of His boundless love for us. Hence, we humbly submit to Him our prayers and petitions for the needs of humankind. And for every prayer, we shall answer, Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For the Universal Church, the community of disciples gathered around Jesus, the Living Stone, may she be for all mankind a source of inspiration and hope. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For the Holy Father, our bishops, our parish priests, and other spiritual leaders, may they mirror to us the holiness of Jesus and lead us to an ever greater communion with the Father. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For all those who have lost the sense of direction in life, and feel confused and discouraged. May they find in the touching of the church the guidance and encouragement they need. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For the terminally ill and those who are about to die, may they find in the promises of Jesus the foundation for their hope to live forever in the house of the Father. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For all mothers, may they be caring, gentle, and patient with their children, as Mary was to Jesus. And may they be blessed abundantly for the love they've shown. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. For the victims of the coronavirus and all those who have assisted them in different capacities, doctors, nurses, paramedics, chaplains, and all other healthcare personnel and frontliners. May the Lord give eternal rest to those who have died and reward those who have done their best to assist the victims. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to the Father. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. For the thanksgiving of Marife Garcia and family, Maxima Carbunco, Ronald Tayau and Jeng Mariano Tayau and family, for the Thanksgiving of Ricardo Lino and family, for the birthday Thanksgiving of Christian Mar Timothy Vargas, Aina Tricia Co Reyes, Reverend Father Paul Velasco, Father uh, Dai, Dai, Dylan Angelo Garcia, Prospera Borbon, Eler Vitug, Angelina Baby Ibarra, Summer Luna, and Amara Viel Garcia. We pray for the intentions of Joseph and Mariel Zapanta and family, Lourdes Tolentino and family, and Mr. and Mrs. Jeric Miranda and family. For the healing of Grace Manabat and family, Randy Moraleja, Arturo Elenita and Emmanuel Vitug, Teresita de Jesus Danting and Ernesto Godoy Silva. We pray for the souls of Wilfredo Jojo Ocampo, Paul Christian Dunca, Pedro Mendoza Jr., Sami Carillon, Jaime Manese, Angelito Mendoza, Antonio Ponyo, Maria Teresa Morales, Jase Zapanta, Raimundo Adoni. Paras, Romeo Garcia, Victorio Babadilla, Natividad Fernando, Priscila Soriano, Frederick Reyes, Pedrito Enrici Bata, Noemi Ocampo, Tom Torres, Gloria Rivera, Maria Lena Coloma Estrella, Lucia Pasión, Uring Ponio, Mario Tolentino, Ricardo Ramos Cruz, Remedios Lino, Rita Ramos Cervantes, Lourdes, Patricia, Janet Tayao, and Lito Ponio. 
God our Father, we thank you for the gift of eternal life offered to us in Jesus, your Son and our brother. May all our thoughts and words and actions be according to your will and lead us to the enjoyment of eternal mansions where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, my dear friends, that Peace the sacrifice Christ. of yours and mine may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by your wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that we have come to know your truth. We may make it ours by a worthy way of life. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the holes of heaven and your kingdom are now thrown open to your faithful. His death is our ransom from death. His rising to life of all have risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise with heavenly powers, with angelic hosts singing together the unending hymn of your glory. And without end, we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Archbishop, with all the priests, with all the clergy, those who serve you in our church, in the hospitals, in our community, and those who serve us in many ways to protect our health and our community. Lord, we pray for all mothers, those who are with us. Keep them safe. Give them good health, O Lord. Assure them that they need not fear for their children. The Lord will always embrace them, protect them. For our parish here at the Holy Cross as we celebrate our fiesta, bless us, O Lord, that we become a big home of love, joy, friendship, community, serving you as one. May we respect and joyfully serve one another, especially those who are in need in our midst. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints who will please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, we may always find peace and be free from all sin, safe from all distress and trouble and fear. And as we await in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. When we find home with one another, and if God and Jesus is in our home, I'm sure there will be peace in our midst. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace to our parish. Peace to our community. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to receive Him, to be with Him, as we receive Him in this Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please kneel. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all rise. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead us, those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries, to pass from former ways of newness of life. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kagabi po may nabasa ako. Sabi niya, It is the love of the mother that you can never equal. Hindi mo pwedeng pantayan, no? Bayaran, no? Suklian yung pagmamahal na binigay ng nani mo sa'yo. It can never be equal. Kasi, as a daughter, as a son, yung pagmamahal nila, hindi natin matutumbasan yun. Impossible, no? The sacrifices and the... So, as a child, hindi pwede. The only way that we can bring back that love is to be grateful to them. To make them feel that uh, we love them. And make them know that we're doing our best that the life that that shared and cared for us we will not uh, it will not be go to, to waste na sanang binigay na uh, na pagmamahal ng mga magulang natin sa atin ay hindi masira at masayang sa ating sariling buhay happy mother's day po the lord be with you and with your spirit we bow our heads and pray for god's blessings May the God of all wisdom and consolation lead you to the way of peace. Amen. May He enlighten your minds with the light of His truth and empower you to live by Him. Amen. May He protect you from all dangers and grant you always the abundance of His life and happiness. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and upon your family and upon our mothers, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Go, let us be at home with Him, our Lord Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.